everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. I'm here with uh, Jim Beauchart and John Flynn, and uh, yeah, Johnny Droneflyer, Lauren Donauer, Lonnie Brown, and uh, we are at Dubois Park, and we're getting ready to fly over to the uh, Jupiter Lighthouse, and there's an inlet here, and so this is just a great place to fly because we can fly all the way out from the inlet, and yes, that's the Atlantic Ocean off in the distance there. Oh, you see some of my friends from the UK off there, over there in the distance there, Steve Gardner and Terry Hawes. Uh, but, uh, but in any case, I've got the DJI Mini 4 Pro, and this has truly proven to me time and time again that it is a pro drone. Uh, it's, able, it's, it's windy today, 20 mile an hour gusts, it's not a problem for this little guy, so it'll do it just fine. And we're going to get some good video. Uh, let's head out to the, uh, do some laps around the lighthouse. A lot of people taking off here, a lot of drones flying. Uh, what do we say, Johnny? Let's get that bird in the air. Yeah, let's quit messing around. Let's get that bird in the air. Get okay. The bird in the air. Okay. <laughs> Give me just a second here. Okie dokie, I've got the drone on the pad oh, and. Uh, we're going to, uh, we're getting ready to take off here. Uh, so let's go through that safety menu real quick like we always do. Clicking on those three dots in the top right. We're in bypass mode, uh, normal bypass options. Uh, we always, I always leave that radar map on. Use optimal return to home, advanced return to home. 35 meter return to home height, which is more than enough for where we're at here. And uh, max altitude, of course max legal is 120. No limit on distance, not asking for any calibrations. I always look at that battery. Battery looks good, no anomalies there. So uh, there's really no reason why we can't take off. Let's shoot in 4K, well I was thinking 4K60. Yeah, let's shoot in 4K60 uh, and, uh, and we'll try that right there. Uh, all right, yeah, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okay, let's do an automated takeoff on the app, hitting that little up button there. It says to stay in normal mode. Yeah, we're in normal mode. Hold down that button. There's that little mini drone. And uh, yeah, so let's go up. Let's go straight up seven meters here. And I'm gonna tell you, we are, uh, we're right in between some palm trees here, so kind of strategically picked a spot. So uh, hopefully, you know what, we probably won't do a uh, try a landing because we're kind of in between these trees and I'll probably just do a manual landing. But, uh, but let's turn it around and, uh, and take a look here. And I, I know I've got the uh, sun behind me so I'm not uh, probably lit real well. But let's see, let's get point. I got drones in the air, so I gotta be careful and, and miss the, those guys. But uh, yeah, let's do our droney. Uh, reverse and up, reverse and up now. And off she goes. And what are you looking at there? Look at that, there's the waterway. Okay, so the big deal here is we wanna see that Jupiter Lighthouse, but we're not going to do that. We're going to head out uh, the uh, entrance to the inlet here. You're going to see you're going to see some boats going by here, and in fact, uh, yeah, this guy's going pretty slow. So we even got probably go faster than him. And what you see here is a dredge. So they're they're dredging sand out of the uh, out of the waterway. And I just had a conversation with a guy that's involved with the company that does this, and he was telling me that he flies a drone to take surveys and so forth. Uh, so he was interested in what we were doing. But they're dredging away there, dredging out the sand, keeping the waterway clear. And that boat's going pretty slow, but let's head out to the entrance here and, then, and see what we can see. Yeah, we got some boats coming in as well. You can walk out clear to the end of this pier down here uh, as well. Yeah, you, so <laughs> thank you very much. Jim just picked up the, uh, the uh, Action 4 camera to get some candid shots. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so as we move out here to the entrance, you can see we got some boats coming in. And uh, 
I'm going to show you the little, I guess you'd call it a jetty here, uh, that you can walk clear out to the end of. Let's kind of go sideways here. Let's see if we can get this drone out over the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, yeah, so there's the beach right there. That is a beautiful beach. And look at those condos down there. I wonder how much, how many millions, how many millions do you think they spend on that, Jim? Uh, four. Yeah, lots. Let's say lots. Yep. Hey Jim, just go ahead and hit the uh, hit the off button on that. Just yeah. Perfect. Thank you. I meant to turn that off earlier, but I appreciate that. Thanks for that shot. Of course. So this is the Atlantic Ocean, right here. We're 19 meters over the top of it. Man, is it beautiful or what? There we got some boats out here. Let's go around and let's see if we can. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm just looking at this surf right here, and I'm I'm looking on my uh, FPV screen, and I can't necessarily see exactly what I'm looking at. Yeah, it's just surf. Yeah, must be some sandbars and stuff there. Okay, so let's get sideways here. Oh, here we got a boat coming in. And so you can kind of see the beach that I was telling you about. And I need to grab some altitude because I'm getting a little bit of uh, signal degradation. But, uh, yeah, we got, we got a, uh, a uh, somebody's flying around us with a uh, FPV drone. Okay, and again, I'm getting a little signal degradation here, so... I'm shooting through some trees, which is always uh, can always be an issue. But I just wanted to give you guys an overview, a look at what we're doing here. So let's go back. Let's go back into the inlet, and uh, and let's get out to the lighthouse because that's something that you that is kind of the highlight of uh, of this area. And there's a bunch of drones in the air, so I'm being careful. That is uh, the. I don't know if you can hear it on the microphone, but uh, a DJI FPV drone is flying around us at high speed. <laughs> pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, so let's head let's head out to the lighthouse here. Let's get. We don't want to be right over the top of the jetty, but we can drop some altitude again here. And and we're uh, we're uh, uh, got good signal back. In other words, I was out there a ways and blocked by some trees and so forth. So I got uh, I got some signal back here. And you remember that dredge we saw earlier. Now this this little barge here, I don't know if I saw that before or not. Let's get down and take a look. I wonder what they're doing on this barge. And it looks like it's docked off to the side. So I don't know. Yeah, they got a a, uh, a backhoe on there so I don't know I don't know exactly looks like they got a motor running on there but uh, anyway let's go ahead and, and uh, let's you can see the lighthouse off in the, the Jupiter lighthouse off in the distance there so let's head that way well let's uh, well we got we got there's we got some drone traffic here close in so I'm not going to get too close but where we're flying fr from is that point right there. We are right off of that point. That's where everybody's flying from. And uh, again, I'm not going to get too close because we got a DJI FPV drone that's flying by at high speed. So you know me, discretion is the better part of valor. We have an aircraft overhead. So what do we do? We make sure we get eyes on him. He is way up there. He's right above us, but he's way up there. So. So yeah, we're not going to worry about him, but uh, as you know, you always want to pay attention. You always want to know where manned aircraft are at. So let's get it in gear here. Maybe we can follow this boat over to the lighthouse. Oh, I, I'm, I'm standing here flying. I heard I hear Ron Brown. Well, 
It didn't. Uh, it, I I tried to uh, I tried to track that boat, and it wouldn't let me do it for some reason. Let's try it again. Yeah, only person or subject supported in auto mode. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm not exactly sure uh, what I'm doing wrong there. But anyway, he stopped, so we're going to quit trying to track him. I undid that, and it looks like he's going in to, uh, to land or to, uh, to park. There's Bob Dempsey. Bob Dempsey just walked up to me. Uh, so anyway, here is, the, uh, here is the lighthouse that we've been talking about. So let's get you a good look at the lighthouse. We, we still got set, the, the battery life on this thing is just always blows me away. We're still at 72% uh, battery. But this is the uh, this is the Jupiter lighthouse and I flew this last year when I was here but had to come back again and of course what are we going to do? We got to do a we got to do a loop around the lighthouse. So uh, Good morning, Lottie. There's the so I, Louisiana. So How you doing? I'm going to call it out to my buddies. Hey guys, I'm flying around the lighthouse. I am at 40 meters. I'm coming back this way. Okay. Oh, you got, I'm sorry. You guys, you guys. So, uh, so let's get it. Let's get an orbit. I just, we, there's so many drones in the air. I wanted to tell them the height that I was flying at so that, so that, uh, you know, we, we don't have any uh, unfortunate collisions or anything. Look at all those people on the lighthouse there. Holy cow. There's a bunch of folks there. Let's zoom in. Boy, look at all those people. There, there's a ton of people at the viewpoint on the lighthouse. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think they see the drone. There's nobody waving or anything. Let's go back out. We're not going to get too close. We don't want to bother anybody. So we're going to stay. We're going to keep our distance. But uh, yeah, evidently they climbed all the way to the top of that thing. <laughs> uh, pretty cool. Get a good look there. Uh, uh, yeah, you sure can. So yeah, so we're just coming across the uh, the other side, and uh, so my friend Terry Haas has just taken off on the uh, with his Mini Three on the uh, on the landing pad. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of the point is we got people here from literally all over the world it's a truly international cast uh, the ones that we give the most the hardest time to are the Canadians we like to give them a bunch of crap yes, Mr. Crawford, we, <laughs> we may or may not have a uh, bone to pick with you you're creating an interna international an incident international by incident by picking on us thank you <laughs> <laughs> look at all those look at all those people on the Viewpoint of the lighthouse or on the. The proceeding was uh, a public paid service announcement. A paid service <laughs> announcement. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. Uh, that was Lauren Donauer, if anybody didn't recognize his voice. Uh, so, but anyway, let's let's uh, let's back up. And I can't remember if I'm zoomed in here or not. No, I'm not. Uh, got got flustered there. I want to show you the. Uh, I want to show you the park here a little bit. So let's let's back the drone off a little bit. And pick up the camera. And get get you the wider view of the park. That is the Jupiter Lighthouse Park, and uh, of course, you, I, my understanding is you cannot fly from the park itself. But uh, but certainly where we're at, you, you, we're we're in good shape here. So let's just do another orbit and give you kind of an overview. In fact, I'm going to throw the drone back into normal mode. We're still at 60% battery. This thing. This little drone has tremendous, tremendous battery life. Uh, yeah, we've been we've been flying for about 13 minutes. So anyway, that is the Jupiter Lighthouse. Let's uh, let's move across here, and let's take a look at the at the waterway here. So this bridge that you see here. That's on Highway 1, but it's obviously you can see they're doing some uh, construction and it's getting rebuilt. So there's a big do detour that you have to take to go around it. We got some boats coming through there right now. I'm a little bit frustrated. I wanted to, we're going to watch out for those cranes over there. But, uh, but we, I, you know, I was hoping to be able to track some of these boats. 
But this is how, you know, when they're on the intracoastal, this is how they're going to get out to the Atlantic. If they're going fishing or something, this is the way they got to come. So, uh, yeah, and then that, I, I don't know the name of that other bridge there, but uh, that's, the, that's the detour that you got to take now. I'm grabbing a little bit of altitude here. I had a little bit of signal degradation. Got Mr. Johnny Drone Flyer. Uh, he does a hand catch. He's very talented, very talented hand catching his drone right now. Okay, dokie, let's turn it back around here. I'm getting a little bit of signal degradation, so you may see kind of a jerky yaw motion there. And boy, I'd like to know the prices of some of these condos and houses. I'll bet they're not cheap right on the uh, right on the waterway here. So. Let's bring this guy back. Yeah, I mean, these, these intra-coastal waterways are amazing to me, uh, the things that you see. So there's a lot of, uh, I'm standing here, all the people that we, in the drone community that we fly with all the time, there's a lot of uh, conversations going along and uh, a lot of handshakes and people uh, back slapping going on. It's uh, it's fun to see everybody together. So, with that, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this guy back, and and I'm gonna see if I can. Uh, I still want to see if I can track one of these boats. So, boy, there's so many drones. There's so many drones in the air here. Hey, you, you I'm, I'm, you definitely want to be careful. And again, let's see. We're at, we're at 50% battery. I still want to see if I can if I can track one of these boats. I don't. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, exactly sure why I couldn't do it. So. So, I'm doing manually tracking right now. Let's, let's click on auto. Yeah, only person subject reported. Yeah, I don't know, I've tracked boats before, so I don't know if it's because I'm in uh, 60 frames per second or what, but, uh, but the drone is, uh, you know, I'm able to just fly around the boat and it's, uh, it's keeping the camera right on the, uh, right on the boat. Anyway, let's stop. Let's stop doing that. I'm going to X out of that. There we go. There we go. So, some more. Another bridge up there. I'm not sure which bridge that is. But, uh, but uh, holy cow, let's, uh, let's bring this guy. Let's start to bring this guy back. Lots going on here today. Even Bob Dempsey's flying a drone. <laughs> Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Bob just said he's flying around the lighthouse. So, okay. I think it's time to bring this guy home. Let's we can well, you know what? We can hit the lighthouse from the other uh, from the other direction here. Isn't that something the way that lighthouse sticks out above the trees and stuff? A lot of people up there too. Okie dokie. Let's bring this guy in, and uh, you know, normally, as you guys know, I like to, I, I always have fun with uh, Return to Home, but because we're kind of amongst the trees here, I'm just going to, we're going to do a manual flight back to us. So, yeah, looks like we got a boat coming back in here. I, how you doing? I'm right in the middle of a, a flight here. Okay. Uh, so uh, no, that's okay. I'm just I'm I'm doing a video and writing. Yeah, talking, yeah, 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 yeah. I watch all your videos. Yeah, thank you, time. thank you. Uh, okay, so we're coming back to the uh, we're coming back to the home point here, and we're gonna bring it back low. I'm coming in, Bob. I don't know where you're at. Just want to let you know. Okay, good. We're clear. So many drones in the air here that you get you know communication is key in these kind of situations. You gotta. 
make sure everybody is talking so that there's no, uh, you know, nothing bad going on. You don't want any collisions. So here we come. In fact, I need to start my uh, Action 2 camera back up. Let's get that fired up because you're going to want to see the landing. Okie dokie, let's bring it in here. There's Mr. Bob Dempsey. He's hard at work there. And let's see if we can get in right, right on the landing pad. You can see me standing there. There's that little drone. It's starting to squawk. It, see, it sees all these trees and so forth. Yeah, yeah. So let's look down and uh, see if we can get it on the landing pad here. <laughs> Lauren is going to embarrass me. He's taking pictures at the same time. Okay, straight down on that left stick. Straight down. Down it comes. As soon as it goes into landing mode, picks up the camera, let go of the stick, as my friend Lauren says. And uh, yeah, we're on the ground. So, uh, anyway, uh, there's the drone. Uh, what do we say, Lauren, now, Lauren? We say, what we say is, uh, let's get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Exactly. Exactly. So you like that Mini 4, huh? You know, th this is a beauty. Uh, I, I, I just, I'm always just stunned by how well a mi little Mini drone can do in this kind of, you know, in wind and, uh, yeah, it is. I think I just realized, I think I just did that whole flight. Uh, Without the button pushed. Without the button pushed. But I did do a screen recording, so I got that. You got that. Yeah, so I can use that. Well, it's so nice to finally you get to meet you in person. Yeah, absolutely. Friend. Absolutely. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. Get this shut down. Okay. Here, here, Johnny, you need to, you need to help me out here for a second. Okay. I just, want, I, I just need you to hold the drone. This is a drone? <laughs> Okie dokie, time for our conclusion. What we do today, uh, Johnny is modeling that beautiful uh, Mini 4 Pro. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, we took it out. We, took, we went out over the uh, Atlantic, down the waterway, and then we took it around the Jupiter Lighthouse and looked around a little bit, looked at the construction on the bridge, and, uh, and brought it. It, we did a bridge inspection. That's we did. Cool. We did, Johnny. Send the state of Florida. Yeah. Isn't it, you know what, I, my viewers, isn't it more fun looking at Johnny than it is my ugly mug? Uh, I think it works I'm pretty good. I'm going to trade this. I, I think I got the Mini 3 Pro. Would you know if I swapped this drone? Yeah. Hey, you wouldn't know. You, you know, God, I can't use profanity on YouTube. <laughs> Otherwise, I would. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm I would. setting this drone down. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I so appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And of course, we'll see you on the next one. Let's do a quick pan around here. Look at all these people here. Look at all these folks. How you doing? All these folks flying drones. It's got some different... Oh, we, the camera is different on the Mini 4. It is, it is. Yeah, it's a bigger, it's a bigger camera. It'll shoot in, uh, it's got a better processor. Uh, yeah, you can do more in 60 frames per second with it, etc. Yeah. I got to get a picture of Bob Dempsey here. So before I sign off, we got to see the master at work. Hi there. Old parts of the drone right here. I'm a little concerned. I got the... Uh... 30% battery and uh, oh, you're it good. says it's right there. Oh, you're good. And uh, of course what? I know what? I didn't take off from the middle of the water. No, no, no. So just, <laughs> just fly it back to us. I'm looking for it. Okay. <laughs> now, let, let me show you a quick trip. You trip. know where it is? Yeah. Hang on here just a second. I'm going to sign off of my... Okay. See you guys later. Bye.